I'm Dee. I'm Kelly. And we are Sisters, Sisters of Stitchcraft. Woo! Whoa! High five! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> oh, brilliant. So, Kel, over to you. What are we here for today? Okay, so today we're filming our So Frugal reveal. So um, we made a few bits and we thought we'd do a catwalk. <laughs> because you know, why not? Any excuse for a catwalk, you know us. So, um, so frugal was is run by Go Sam <laughs> and Ruan. So Ruan, the Yorkshire So Girl, and Sam Frugalissima, which we hope we say right. We always hope I say it right. I think that's that's <laughs> how it's spelled. Yeah, <laughs> I say it the same. So. We like to think it's right. We'll have to ask Sam one day. Anyway, they run. They've been running this for four years. The first year it was um, frugal frocks and now it is so frugal so you can have other garments so you have to the rules are you have to use something from your stash or something that you'll repurpose in that you've already got before the first of march um and you'll see what we've made in a minute and if you've seen our vlog with our plans you will know roughly what we were doing anyway um so who's going first oh <laughs> yes, we don't need to do the rules, do we? Because we've done the rules before. We did the rules. It's all in the other one. Go back, back and watch that. <laughs> Next year it will be happening again, I'm sure. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yes, so. so, should we do the one we did the same first? Yes, let's do that. Okay. So, <laughs> we, we made one thing the same. Everything well, else the same is different. Pattern. From the same pattern. <laughs> Everything else is different. Yes. So, oh, the thing on the bottom of my pile, typically. So, we did. The Billy Blanket, was it, what's it called? Yeah, Billy the Blanket. Billy Blanket by Dixie Club. Yeah, do it better yourself, it stands for. Um, so it's <laughs> obviously- We've gone. <laughs> Abracadabra. Obviously you'll see it on the catwalk. You'll see it probably on the catwalk, but this is it. So I made mine with a hood and with the sleeves that came with the pattern. I didn't use the kangaroo pocket, I put inseam oh, pockets in. yes, I didn't even notice um, that. They are slightly too low down, I've just realised doing the catwalk, but who cares, you can fit things in there. Yeah, that's and Richie is for Richie, it's not for me this one, so he sits in his office and he has it up and he puts his hands in it, so he's absolutely happy with it. He's worn it more than I've worn anything that I've made. <laughs> you finally <laughs> made him something! He's so sorry. He actually said, oh, it's been. He actually said to me, I said, thank you for making me things. <laughs> and you said, can I have it back now? Yeah. I said, I've got to take it to D's. <laughs> I said, and today you could have really done with it as well because it's chilly. Oh, I'm baking. So, so I did mine from two fleece blankets because I, I love. one wasn't enough. So yeah. I've done two one, and I've colour blocked it and they've got different two different colour sleeves. And I did do the kangaroo pocket, although it's not perfect. I did miss the stitching on the one side. I think it's there, is it there? No. Yeah, there. So I was gonna hand stitch it if I haven't had time yet. <laughs> so, and I didn't do the hood because I didn't have enough blanket. And to be honest, I'm baking enough as it is. I don't need a hood. And mine is for me, or to be fair, it would fit both of us, I guess. Yeah. Um, and I also cuffed sleeves on mine. So it's quite nice because they cuff up quite and I nicely. I really like it with the cuff and yeah. the ribbon, but also I like the navy contrast to the blankets <laughs> that as was, well. That was for my stash. That yeah, was just I luck. That. <laughs> I um, bought that when I first started sewing because it was on offer, and I can't even remember who by, um, and I've never actually used it. So um, yeah, so I thought oh, I know what I can do for that. Yeah, it looks fab. I so, should just say so I used an old duvet well. cover that we don't use anymore that I'd already made a Stella hoodie for myself out of, and yeah. this is left over from that. So you've got matching. We've got matching hoodies. Yeah, he's got that. <laughs> you've got your Stella. Oh my goodness, his and hers. <laughs> his and hers hoodies. I love it. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, I've got to make another one of them for me now. <laughs> so which one should we do next? Do you want to go next? Should we? Yes. Oh, you've got yes, more than me, more, so you can so, crack on. <laughs> so I'll do this one next. Well, you probably haven't got so much more. It's just I wear three together. That's true, actually. Mm. That's very true. Yeah. So anyway, go on. Okay, so <laughs> this is the Mandy Boat, no, the Mandy Tea or the Mandy Boat Tea from Tasuti Fabrics. It's a free pattern that um, Teresa from Lost My Thread mentioned a few weeks back before So Frugal. 
and um, so I thought I'd make that. And do you know what? I absolutely love the shape of this t-shirt. It's baggy enough mm. for me to feel comfortable. Um, the sleeves are slim enough for me to not feel that it's too oversized, even though it is quite oversized. And do you know what? Came together really quickly and easily. Yeah, I love so, that. I love a quick, easy yeah. make. And that's from your stash, that fabric. Yeah. Oh, the fabric, yeah, it's from my stash. It was originally from Legend Textiles. Mm -hmm. I made a so over it London no. oh my goodness what's the dress that ties up Estelle yes thank you the Estelle dress out of this and I've still got some left over I yeah, must have bought amazing, about four meters or something <laughs> or five meters because it was 199 a meter but actually I really like it I like it's it, it, very 80s yeah. that pattern I think yeah. on it. Oh, it's just really colourful isn't and it? And it's got colourful but not purple. too colourful. Purple, purple your favourite colour. Purple, purple orange black. which is one of my favourite colours. I also double dipped so I ended I ended this for So Yellow for Endo as well because oh, it's got a bit yes, of yellow in it. Yeah I didn't so, do that. So I've double dipped on that so I'm entering it for both because apparently oh, we're allowed you. to do that. Check it out. <laughs> Oh, so shall I get for the whole outfit rather than the two together? So I did, if you remember, I talked about this fabric that Kelly gave me. Um, I love it. Ages ago, about yeah. a year and a half ago, two years ago? No, a yeah, year and a half ago. A year ago, <laughs> when you first started sewing. Yeah. Um, finally made a bubble skirt with it, which I absolutely adore. Love um, it looks much better on than it does off. <laughs> So we used to call them puffball skirts, didn't we, back in the yes, 80s? Yes, we not did. Bubble skirts. You're right. It is a puffball skirt. Puff I knew skirt. there was something wrong when I was making it. I was and thinking, that's what we right. wanted to get. Yeah, all well, my label's sticking up on that one. Oh. So, uh, remember this. <laughs> <laughs> it's still that. going, and I've still got more of this fabric left. <laughs> great. Christmas dress. <laughs> so over it. No, not so over it. Porsche dress. Yeah, so over oh, it. Porsche dress, yeah. Porsche dress. Yeah, that was my so Christmas it, one. So over it. And, um... Spring in London, top. Oh my goodness. And really? now. What did you get of it? Three, I think. Is that all? Yeah. Wow, you've done so well out of that. And a Largo. This is a Largo. I'm absolutely um, loving this Largo tank. This is also a Largo tank, too. Um, so, yeah, free pattern um, from. Oh, I can't remember it from. It was in my plans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the puffball skirt. Yes. That's <laughs> what I think we should do that. Call yes. That. Is actually mm. a happiest camper one I used in the end, mm. which was a free free tutorial and no not tutorial free pattern and um, written instructions, which came together really really easy and I lined it with just a black simple black hat was in my stash. Uh, well, it wasn't in my stash. It was. It's not in jersey. Oh, no, it's, jersey. it's like a really soft cotton. Oh, so it is. It felt yeah. like a jersey. I don't know where it's come from. It was That's in lovely. my scraps and I don't know what I've ever made with it. It's so, so I don't soft. know whether it's something because I have taken a few of my old clothes apart. And use right. bits of them, so I don't know whether it's left over from that. So um, yeah, it works really well. And because it's so soft on the inside, it feels really comfortable to wear. It's really, yes. really comfy. So yeah, it's so lovely, those lovely. two go really nice together. And well, you'll see that when I do the catwalk. Yes, stay so, tuned. Okay. <laughs> so, so you've got another one. Yes. Um, I love this. I want this dress. I want Kelly to give me this dress. <laughs> <laughs> this is so me. This so, dress. This she's is... not. She's gonna add another tear and keep it herself. <laughs> We'll see. So, <laughs> this is just a simple shirt dress. Now, I followed Rosary Apparel on YouTube, so I can't remember what her name is, but her YouTube channel and her company is Rosary Apparel, and she did a free tutorial on how to do a simple shirt dress. Now, I've made a shirt dress, self-drafted before, so it wasn't dissimilar to that, but the reason I liked this one was because it came with sleeves. However, <laughs> Seriously, honestly, I, you'd think by now I would have learned. Watch, watch again, measure, measure, cut. But what no, do? I measured, you had to measure yeah. around your arm hole, basically, the top of your arm. Then you had to double it. I didn't double it. Oh no. So when you shard it, it fits a doll. It's not to be shared. Does it's it have elastic in it. But yeah, it probably would fit Hilda fine. <laughs> But, yeah. so I haven't got sleeves yet, and I don't think I've got enough fabric to create you sleeves. You could just do straps. Oh, that's what I started doing, making straps, yeah. but I didn't get around to that. So it's fine, it works as a, as a strapless. And tell them about the color. Yes, so it's like, it's supposed to be olive green, 
and I really like the colour actually. It's it's a bit I more do. faded I really like than it. I would have expected. No, no, I love it. Um, but this was the white duvet cover that I showed you in our plans mm -hmm. video, and I bought some of that. Is it dye long dye? The one it comes oh, in like an eggy type I've thing. And you just put the whole fabric. thing in. Mm -hmm. Really simple and easy to do. And so I dyed it green because white is not something I can really wear no. because I'm too messy. And I, if I eat something, I drop it down all the time. Yeah, if I too. wear white, it's guaranteed I'll wear it once and it'll be ruined. So green is a bit more forgiving. Yeah, I just um, love the colour. I love the style. I, I just... love the texture of that. Yeah. Because it's like a large seersucker. I have a duvet cover, Different which colors. I reckon is the same as this. Oh, you pockets in I forgot about that on the catwalk <laughs> but I did put pockets in um I think I've got a duvet cover like this somewhere in the airing cupboard which I'm gonna hook out or make it. into a dress do it <laughs> <laughs> but I am still gonna steal yours obviously you can, you can steal mine you can, I haven't even sorted out the threads yeah, yet, but really still little tails anyway <laughs> that's my shirt dress that was made from and the duvet cover was one that I've used once to cover up my wedding dress because that's what the woman wanted in the fitting yes. shop uh, the fitting yeah. shop the seamstress wanted and I've never used it since and it's too small for our bed so yeah, I just sense. kept it for I don't really know why. Used. So yeah, yeah it will get worn. Um I think you should go next with your little one. <laughs> what have I done with that? I don't know. It was there. I thought it was there know. too. One second. <laughs> Bear with. Bear with. Oh there it is, it's fallen on the floor. <laughs> right. So I made for my granddaughter. Look at what! Lightning leggings. <laughs> it just so it's like waves and wild, isn't it? Waves and wild, lightning leg mm. leggings, free pattern, and I made it out of the top that I ruined my Freya that I got bleach on at the hairdressers. Yep. So I made it out of that. So Brilliant! That That's used. a great recycle of something that was ruined. That's just yeah. amazing. Oh, that is too so cute. And the little Luna T shirt, which is also free from waves and wild a free <coughs> pattern um i think the luna t goes up to four years old from prem to four i think it is and the leggings go from either prem or nought up to 14 years old and it's a free pattern i know it's only leggings but look yeah at them. they're just adorable they're just so they are. and do you find they come together quick because they're little they came together really them? quick no yeah. it wasn't not as fiddly as i expected the <coughs> neck bit here is probably not perfect and a bit fiddly mm -hmm. next time i consider hand tacking that in to make sure i've got it in the right place but it came together really yeah. easily and I when i did the one for jacks i did a top jacks last year and i thought um that was going to be really fiddly but it was actually all right. So with yeah. the overlocker. Yeah, because jersey, you can just overlock it. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it's brilliant. Yeah. I also made a little yeah. bandana bib to go with <laughs> out of the rest of that fabric <coughs> and um, an old towel that I had. Um, Fantastic. Just in the cut for the car, really, um, which I don't need anymore. It was when I had a leak in the car, so I had to keep mopping up the floor. <laughs> the, the joys. Um, so yes, Brilliant. that's, that's for cosy for my granddaughter. <coughs> Excuse me. That's probably my favourite thing that I made. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Because it's so cute. It is so cute. And I got to use my labels. Yeah. I'm made yeah. by Nanny Labels. That's the first thing I've ever made her. So yeah. That's so cute. It is so cute. So. I suppose that leaves oh, us with what we're wearing. Add, oh, go on. Sorry, not to do yeah. it so frugal, but I made myself a dress in the same fabric so we can have matching clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Poor child. She's going to grow up with a Excellent. complex. No, no, I'm sorry. She will hate you for it. She's yeah, yeah, she will. Tell you she's My girls teenager. hate that I used to dress them the same. <laughs> <laughs> and I have Brilliant. got an outfit that was very similar the three of us, and they're like, Mum, no. <laughs> Please just don't. get rid of that photograph. <laughs> <laughs> so she will hate you for it, but it will still look cute. It's cute. I love it. So yeah, so our final one's always what we're wearing today. Yes. <laughs> so, do you want to go first? Uh, yes, this is a self-drafted bat wing <coughs> top. It was meant to really be a top. <laughs> <laughs> but again, true fashion, Kelly fashion, I did not watch the vlog properly <laughs> and I've done it twice the length that it was meant to be. So now it's a dress. So or you did the sleeves not long enough and that too long. <laughs> The sleeves were the length. No, but I'm just saying with measurements. Yeah. Something too short. And oh, on that one, yes. <laughs> yeah. 
I did. <laughs> so yeah. Hmm. However, <clears throat> it's kind of a happy mistake because I can wear it as a dress or I can sort of put it up and mm, wear it as a... Because the style of it, you can do that. Yeah, of. I can wear it as a top as well. So it's a bonus really and I use mm. my So Haley fabric from January's box. So it was in my stash already and it needed to be made up into something. Yeah, it's um, lovely. It's really, I love this fabric. I love it. Do you it's know what? Such I love a it fabric to wear. so much more wearing it than I yeah. did before I wore the it. The outfit I made, just, I wear all the time at home. I literally don't want to take this off mm. right now. I'm going to have to get some more if there's any left and make some trousers so that I've got a um, cohort like yours. <gasps> we, can like we can have a cohort. We can have a cohort. Oh, yes. Maybe walk along the beach. <laughs> <laughs> because it's beachy. We'll get Matt to film so us. So beachy. <laughs> <laughs> But I actually love the fabric and I made um, what we've what was left over, I've made another spring in London as well. Oh wow. But not Excellent. so frugal because that's not a free pattern. But yeah, and this was from a tutorial on YouTube, which I will tag below because I can't remember what she's called and I don't think I wrote it down. No, I don't have it on me, it's in the other bag. Okay. But yeah, I'll put it down yeah. below. I'll you find it and put the link to the video that I followed. It was really simple if you listen to what she says. <laughs> <laughs> Which Kelly clearly doesn't. <laughs> just, I think I've got it, and so I just steam full, go straight in and do it, and then think. Even with oh. your special fabric. I know, and then I thought, well, that's not right. <laughs> I'm like, what, what's gone wrong? <laughs> It's all right, it works, it's a dress exactly. and a top. Exactly, In you one, wear it. Even it's more bonus. frugal than it was meant to be. <laughs> so my last outfit, because I did all outfits, um, is my neck curtain, which I've made into a duster, which you can't which really I see. I absolutely love so, yeah, But um, yeah, you'll be able to see it in the catwalk. Um, yeah, and I love it too. And um, I've kept the edging here, which was the edge of the um, curtain. And this lace here, this special lace, this lace, this is lace that I, I've left over because Kelly, when she got married, two years ago? Two, two years, years ago July, in July. Asked me to make her a garter. And this is left over from the lace I made because I bought loads because I liked it. Um, and so I wasn't pretty. sure what I was exactly what I was going to do because I'd never done anything like that before. But um, but yeah, so I used that to edge it rather than trim it. So it looks really pretty, I think. So yeah, special lace there. <clears throat> um, this was a, the So Haley Jane tutorial. tutorial on YouTube, free tutorial. Absolutely, probably one of the easiest things I've ever made. Such a simple Yeah, thing. so, so simple. Um, Largo top. Uh, this <laughs> fabric is from my stash. It was originally from Sarah's Simple Life. Oh, Sarah from Sarah, Simple Sarah, Life yeah. Fabrics. No, <coughs> simple Life Fabrics, that's one. Um, I did actually cut it the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I was smiling, uh, because I'm not the only be, person that makes mistakes. The little leaves <laughs> are supposed to be the other way up, but actually there's such a good stretch on it, it worked anyway. So and I think it looks cool that way around, because it kind of <coughs> looks like stripes to a degree yeah, as well. Yeah, it does a bit in the in yeah. Film, it? yeah. So, uh, yeah, and I did cheat, I didn't, use because I didn't have enough fabric. I, only ha I think I only had a metre of this fabric. It might have even, might have been half a metre actually. I think it might have been half yeah, a metre. Yeah, I think it's half a metre. Um, so I didn't have enough for the um, the banding, so I just used a white stretch bias yes. tape. It looks really good, nice. you wouldn't you know it was see, bias yeah, tape actually. On the sleeves and on the neck, so it's no, bad. it worked really, really well. Yeah, I love it. Um, and then the shorts, which like I say you'll see, are just patchwork denim shorts. They're not patchwork at the back because I've run out of time. <laughs> but I did have denim in my stash, so I used that for the back. Um, but I put some pa pa patch pockets on that are from jeans, or old, old jeans cut up. So I sort the patchwork on that way. Um, left them all frayed and stuff because I wanted them to look quite festively. And I've got some Daisy Jones hands and the six hanging inspired. off them and things like that. So I'm a little oh, Adam so cool. <laughs> um, And again, that was Happiest Camper. That's it's her gym shorts. Um, but yeah, like I played around with them a little bit just to make them look less gym shorts <laughs> and more festival shorts. So, but yeah, so that's we'll it. Tag all, we'll put, we'll put the link Absolutely. to everything in, in yeah. the blurb underneath. As always. Of yeah. course. Yeah, so we did well, didn't we? I think we? we did really well. So yeah, quite a few items there. Yeah, I think so. Not really as much, I'm not all 12 of mine, but I got quite a few done. I'm quite yeah. impressed. Yeah, and it's it's been a busy month because we've had it's been a very busy month. And, yeah, and I've done a lot of pattern testing, so yeah. to get all that done was amazing. We did well. So yeah, high five. Yes, <laughs> get done. <laughs> this is a rocket so frugal. <laughs> so we can now say. Hashtag
hashtag so frugal 24 yes, today, <laughs> today is the reveal day so you can use your hashtag now yeah and we'll be putting these on insta individually yeah, to enter gonna be on there too as well don't yeah. forget <laughs> Okay, is that yes, us? Are we that's done? Us. We're done for so frugal. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Always, yes. Absolutely. Happy sewing. And as always, happy sewing. <laughs> Take, Take care. care. Bye. Bye.